All right, this is Josh Gwynn back with another LinkedIn training. And in this training session, um, I want to talk about how to write a really compelling LinkedIn summary. Um, this is something that I cover in my course, uh, my online course on LinkedIn, um, but it's not something that I think I've talked about um, widely. So uh, I want to cover how to write a great LinkedIn summary. Now, I'm going to go into, uh, well, I'm already on the Edit My Profile page. But what I want to do, the LinkedIn summary, most people that are watching this are probably going to know what LinkedIn, uh, the LinkedIn profile summary is. But if you don't, LinkedIn summary is this section of your LinkedIn profile right here. This is kind of like the sales pitch of your LinkedIn profile. So this tells people in detail uh, what you can do for them how you can help them, what your specialties are, and how to contact you. At least that's what I recommend doing with it. Um, so the way to edit it is to come in here and click this edit button, and then you can go in and you can see the amount of information in my LinkedIn summary. Now I want to show you kind of what this looks like. Um, so we're going to take my, this is my public profile image. So we're going to go here, let's see if we can pull this up. I may just pull back up what I was already in. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's do this. I want to view my public profile. So I just saw it. So we're going to go back into this. We'll go back this way. View profile as. And what it'll do is it'll let you uh, look at your profile like your connections would see it. And so that's what I want to do. So here's what they would see. When I'm in my profile, I don't really see my full summary, but they would see uh, all of this information. So here's my summary. So I want to cover a little bit about what to put in this summary because it's super important. I would say in the order of importance on your LinkedIn profile, um, your profile picture is number one, your headline is number two, which your headline is right here. Uh, and the reason that's the most important two is because these are the only two things people are going to see. Um, when they're scrolling through LinkedIn's news feed and they see something you either posted or commented on, they'll see your headline, your, your picture, your headline, and your name, and that's it. Now, that's why you make your headline very compelling and tell people, uh, give people enough reason to click into your summary. So you can see mine is Director of Marketing Helping Businesses Profit from Digital Marketing and SEO, Business Consultant. So, um, if they are at all interested in those services, I want them to click into my LinkedIn profile and read my summary. So here's the summary. So here's what I recommend you do with your summary. I recommend you have a little section um, talking about what you do. So for me, I help car dealers and business owners use social media marketing and email marketing to get more traffic, leads, and sales. How I do it. My company uh, provides social media marketing, web design, and search engine optimization. Then I have a contact me section. The reason I have the contact me section right here is because normally on your LinkedIn profile, the contact me section is way down at the bottom. So if you scrolled way down here through all of my uh, previous job positions, all my publications, all of my projects that I've managed, all the way down here, still not there yet all of my recommendations all of my skills we just get down into the advice for contacting Josh nobody in their right mind is gonna read down this far on your LinkedIn profile if they do you probably don't want to talk to them they're probably a stalker but if you put it in your profile summary right here then they it makes it easy for them to contact you so I have my email my website and uh, my phone number in there so that's what I recommend doing um, I have a couple of testimonials, so what others say. Um, so these are testimonials that people left me on LinkedIn right here. So I didn't even have to come up with this content. This was copy and paste from recommendations that people left me. Um, in my online course um, for LinkedIn, I talk about how to get recommendations and what to write for other people so that they will leave you a recommendation like this. So this is copy and paste, so that makes it easy. I talk about who I've worked with. Uh, Fortune 100 companies to startups. Uh, I talk about my background and I talk about my specialties. Now the specialties section is just uh, keywords that I want to rank for. So they're things that I do, social media marketing, social media strategy, Facebook advertising. All of these things are things that I offer, but 
I want them in there because they not only tell people what I can do for them, but um, they also make it to where my profile search is higher, comes up higher on LinkedIn search when people are searching for these specific things. So that's the other reason I put specialties in there. Not everybody does that. Um, I recommend you do it. So anyway, those are the sections of the summary. Um, again, with my LinkedIn course, um, if you're not enrolled in my LinkedIn course, um, I'll show you where to get it at the end of this video. Uh, but I include a LinkedIn summary template with this course. So uh, you actually will get um, this LinkedIn summary as part of the course. Uh, you can copy and paste it. You can copy all this information and paste in your information and just change out what you want to say. So it makes it easy. But here's the overall strategy with this. What you do, how you do it, contact you. What others say, if you have recommendations, leave those. Um, but you want to tell people what you do, how you can benefit them. So the way I benefit them is getting more traffic leads and sales right here. So that's how I benefit people that I work with. How do I do that? Social media marketing, web design, search engine optimization. So these are, these are kind of the features. How you do it are the features. What you do are the benefits that you offer to people. So if you think about it in a features benefits kind of uh, sales strategy, how you do it is the features, what you do are the benefits. This provides some social proof, what others say. Um, you want your contact information in there, very prevalent. Um, and then who you've worked with, if you can name drop about who you've worked with or you've done some businesses, you know, you've done some business with large businesses, um, definitely want to put that in here. Uh, I talk about my background again and then specialty section. And then the final part of your um, summary, and this is something I have just recently started doing, is I am putting in some proof of what I do for people. So um, this is a, uh, a dealership, a car dealer that I worked with that saw a 69% increase in website traffic. So I'm gonna show you how to add these sections to your, um, your LinkedIn summary. So again, these just show, uh, add additional proof that what I'm saying is what I can do for somebody. So if somebody clicks on those, it brings it up, they can see that um, this was a 100% increase in web traffic, 131% increase in email leads from year to year for a client that I worked with. So, um, and then they can see this. It's a this shows a 69% increase in um, uh, car dealers website traffic. So, uh, it gives them some proof that I can do what I say that I can do. So, I'm going to show you how to add those. So, we're going to jump back into my profile. All right, so here's where you edit your profile. So if you click on this pencil icon or anywhere in your profile, you can start editing. So my recommendation is you edit it in uh, another editor and then you copy and paste it into here. So you get it how you want it to look and then you paste it in here. So that's what that would be how you edit it because you can't really see more than just about this amount of the LinkedIn, uh, your LinkedIn summary when you're editing it, which gets kind of frustrating. So. Anyway, the way that you add uh, these um, pictures that you can add social proof or work that you've done uh, for clients, you can add video, you can add images, you can add links to a website that you built. Um, you'll see down in other sections of my experience that I have, um, you know, I have different stuff. So this is a video, uh, this is a video, these are graphics, this is a slide share, this is actually a complete presentation. Um, so you can do a lot of different stuff with this with this section. Most people don't do this, so it's gonna make it'll make you stand out. But the way to add uh, an image here is you go up here and you click on this little icon right here, and it says click to add a video, image, document, or presentation. You can add, uh, you can upload a file. You can go straight from the URL, um, and then that's basically what you do. So once you do that, you're gonna add in title text, and then it'll add it to your summary. So that is how you write a LinkedIn summary that will get people uh, to contact you for business or to connect with you because you're telling them exactly how you benefit them. So I hope that helps you. Um, if you want to uh, get my course on LinkedIn 
uh, my course called LinkedIn Blueprint. Go to redlineacademy.com. You can see, I'll put the link below this video. So it's redlineacademy.com. And uh, just scroll down here and you click on LinkedIn Blueprint. And this is the course. So you can read all about the course here. Uh, you can see everything that it offers. And if you want to enroll in the course, you click the enroll button and you can get started. You can see some students feedback and their testimonials on the course uh, and then read about what you get from LinkedIn Blueprint here. So I'll put a link to this below the video. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Um, also, if you'd like to get my LinkedIn 19 step LinkedIn profile checklist, go to joshgoin.com and uh, this is my website. I do articles on uh, training for freelance entrepreneurs and business owners. Um, if you scroll down, you can see that you can get my 19 step LinkedIn profile checklist. It's totally free. You can get it here. Just click on this button and I will email it directly to you. It's a PDF document um, and it's, it's really good. I think you'll like it a lot. So again, thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.